Welcome back guys to a brand new Helldivers 2 news video. Today we're going to be talking more on the CEO, all of the things that he's saying right now because uh, there's just, he's very, very active on social media and I like it. it you know, some funny responses and uh, today we're going to be talking about, well, the head, uh, the title and the source will always be in the link in the description down, uh, down below. Helldivers 2 CEO says guns have hidden stats so the meta is overblown. I really wanted to bring you guys this information because there's still more that we're learning about hell divers every single day and i hope you guys do enjoy today's video if you do make sure to smash that like button consider subscribing to my channel as we're on the road to 250,000 subscribers and please come and join us in the discord we launched last week and um, we nearly have 500 members there's some great people great moderator um so come join us link will be in the description so let's get in with today's video so as I said, Helldivers 2 CEO says guns have hidden stats so the meta is overblown. So there have been some recent developments in Helldivers 2 sorry, that have turned the community a bit towards the toxic side. Namely, may, many players have begun kicking other members of the team if they don't use the meta, i.e. the best guns and stratagems in the game. Among those are fan favourites like the Railgun and the SG-225 Breaker. Now, I think the one thing with, um, I mean, I mean, I'm a, I think I hit level 10 the other day. I am a little bit behind. Um, I had the weekend off because I wasn't very well. Um, just, I mean, I know you can still game, but I mean, I just had the whole weekend off. Everything, I just had the worst headache. Um, and you do fall behind quite quickly and stuff. So I haven't actually experienced this myself, but I have had other instances where people can literally kick you from the game at the right at the end and you don't get any XP. So you can complete a mission in Helldivers 2, prepare for your juicy four or 500 XP and then just get kicked and then don't get anything. I don't know if they've done anything to fix it. I don't think they have. I don't think it's a fix. I think it's just generally in the game as a thing at the moment. Um, but anyway, so however, for the gun specifically, Arrowhead Game Studios CEO, Johan, says that people are not getting the full picture. He says that guns should not be compared purely on the basis of four visible stats. Um, so there was a tweet which came from uh, Johan says, In regards to Helldivers 2 weapon stats, so many of you use the four stats we show as a comparison, while each gun has maybe 50 stats in total. The numbers are a guideline but does not paint a complete picture. Use the one you like the most. And I thought that was a really, really, really interesting thing because uh, it feels like they're keeping the game quite, quite a mystery. Um, so there's, it, and I like that because people aren't forced into. This might even be the first time in a long, long time. I don't know if it's the first time, especially in most recent game history, where there isn't like a meta. Um, obviously, there is like a form of a meta with things that work well, but like. Every sort of gun does hold its own. Not all of them do, but every single gun can hold its own against fights. Um, and uh, and I really like that, that aspect of it. I really do. I think the fact that you can just enjoy using what you like and what works well for you is good. And I understand there may be some people out there that won't be happy with you just enjoying yourself and using what you do. But to be honest, most of the lobbies I get into on Helldivers... I've been not experiencing, early on there was a little bit of toxicness, but to be honest, I've just been experiencing, you know, level 35s taking me into their game as a level 10 and uh, and just accepting that I'll do my best. <laughs> and uh, to be fair, I, I'm going to be honest, I would say I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm great at the game, but I'd say I'm quite good at shooters on PC and I always have been. So if I'm sort of, it's not like people are constantly having to reinforce me and stuff, I'm kind of holding my own. I could happily say that. Um, um, and I, and I can understand it can get quite frustrating. But even in Helldivers, like, if you do have to, uh, re you know, recover a teammate, it's not like you have to go and revive them and run to them. You just reinforce them. And I know you can lose reinforcements and things like that. Um, but, um, but, you know, it's still fairly easy in that sense. So... So, there are 50 stats in weapons, so the base ones are just sort of, um, advice. Not hard and fast rules about what is better. And so, if you're told something is better, um, you may think it's better, but in practice, but, uh, you may think it's better in practice, but perhaps it's not. Some have now responded saying Helldivers 2 should then just list all of the stats in the weapons so they can use and see the full picture. But I'm not sure people understa understand just how many stats go into weapons in FPS games. That said, I suppose that in the addition to the four obvious stats, there could be something where an aspect tool lists a bunch more. I don't know. I... <sighs> 
what do you guys think? I quite, I, I, I feel like, yeah, you might want to know a bit more because you want to know if you're using the best thing. But I think the idea of keep, like, no one's done it like this really before, you know. And the idea of keeping it quite sort of standard and base and you choose what you like, I quite like that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong because you don't know what works, what takes out the, you know, what makes you complete a mission quicker. But um, other players are asking for weapon customization, something that Johan that himself said that he wants to see at some point, which would obviously modify stats even further. I think Johan, um, when he says, use what you want, comments are meant to push back against all this meta talk, but I'm not sure that actually works as some top gun games. You can talk about stats and whatnot, but if you use something like the Breaker, you can see it's just sort of in a different league than other weapons. Granted, yes, Helldivers is supposed to be a f uh, is supposed to be fun at a baseline, and you can certainly succeed in hard missions using alternative, a uh, less meta loadout. But metas exist for a reason. No, I don't think anyone should be kicked for not, um, you know, packing along a, uh, a railgun or a breaker. But I can see what many um, people may believe that are their best chances for success. Um, there will be no doubt. Uh, well. well with no doubt, there'll be further, larger balance patches coming to the game at some point. Underused things will be buffed, and yes, some of the highest performs may be nerfed. Then I'm sure we'll get into the internal, why can't you just buff everything to be as good as the breaker debate? But this is something most games go through, and the dance of the balance never ends. In a co-op shooter, I wouldn't take the meta too seriously, just like Johan says. Yes, those weapons are stronger, but winning every game with the same meta loadout just sort of, you know, stops the, the chaotic fun and nature of the game. I get why people do it, but don't force others to do the same. And I like, I, you know what? I like that response. I, and I get, I get when it comes to gaming. Like, gaming has come such a long way over the last sort of... 10 years you know like since 2014 i guess that was sort of 20 I, like black ops 3 for me was the first time maybe like 2016 where it really we started to get into that stage where people were going crazy on the esports side of gaming and then slowly when fortnite released it just went crazy and now in every game these days People are just very, very good, and um, and you know they want to know what the meta is. They want to succeed as fast as possible, and I don't think there's any problem with that in a game. But I do feel like sometimes we miss that feeling of you're not loading into a lobby every single time and coming against like people that just uh, you know just sort of ruin the fun of it. And you, some people may comment on this video and say, "Dom, you're just not very good." And and no, that's not that's not what it is for me. I, earlier on, I completely backed myself and said I've been pretty I'm pretty good on PC shooters and always kind of have been. But I do like to enjoy my games, and I like to have fun. I like to try out new stuff. I like to try out new weapons, and I feel like Hell Divers is a perfect game for that. And of course, if I do try out a, a weapon and it, uh, I think it's terrible, I'm not going to use it. But that's going to be on my personal opinion. There might be a sniper or something that I like, uh, or, or you know, that, um, I don't like. Sorry, and someone else may use it and be amazing and get constant headshots with it and use it all the time. I think that's the beauty of the game, and what could be even better for it moving on is the future when new weapons get added anyway um shout out to johan because i'm loving making these videos and uh, reading what he's been saying because he's got some of the best responses um i've seen from uh, devs and ceos and whatnot in the gaming industry so thank you very much for watching leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you guys in my next video very soon see you guys then